talk about it, y'all. I didn't talk about it last week because I wanted to do both the parts at the same time because I knew that Tilda was going to get on my nerves and I didn't want to give her too much last week. I wanted to hold it to this week. Tilda was worse. There were three, uh, I was going to say young ladies, but women. Uh, Tilda's not young, but she was part of the, the group. She's one of the ladies. Uh, there was Tilda. Matilda, she was five. Five. 65. 65. She acted like she was five. Yeah, parts. Yeah. She was 65. Um, Brandy, who was... 30s, yeah, some 30s, and then Taiyi, who was also in her 30s. Yeah, early 30s. Um, Matilda was in jail. She had got sentenced to 30 years. I think she did 18. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Brandy, I think she did like five, six, some eight, something. Yeah. Too long. Yeah, she all of it every day too long. And Taiyi did four years and 10 months. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. I thought it was three, three something. But okay, go ahead. But she got sentenced to five years, and she did. I thought she said she did four years and 10 months, right. but it might have been three years. Either way, it's, it's too long to be in jail. It's far too long. I just, I just don't want nobody to go to jail. Don't do stuff and go to jail. I don't like it. It's not, it's not cute. So obviously, as most women, they've all went to jail behind men because men are trash. <laughs> um, yeah, we let them get away with too much. Sometimes. Who is we? Women. I'm gen giving you a general. Don't generalize mixes. A general, a general, especially us, us uh, African American women. We tend to do. And again, don't generalize we mixes. Kind of give them a little more leeway than maybe is needed. We get better. I'm gonna say like my pops said from the church. Pops from the church say we gonna get better. <laughs> um, anyway, so both Ty the younger girls, Taiyi and Brandy, were both in jail behind their boyfriends mm -hmm. who were drug dealers. I can't remember. I think it was Taiyi whose dad was a drug I think actually, wasn't it both of their dads were drug dealers? But Taiyi's yeah, Ty house definitely was. She said she was a drug house. Her house was a drug house. I think both of their dads were drug dealers. But that honey, it sick. got so deep that we had to just put Taiyi and Brandy to the wayside. Matilda. Those girls, they they understand that they have issues, and they, they accepted that this this was an issue that they had. But, but Granny Tiller, <laughs> not Granny Tiller, <laughs> she worse had years and years and years of denial about who she was and what she you know what her life was like so bad that this girl was telling folks she had ten So Iyala sits her down. Hey Matilda, how's it going? Hey Iyala, uh, what's what's going on? We in here because you know you've been in jail. Let's talk about it. How many kids you got? Matilda said ten kids. And y'all said you have ten children. Matilda Six. said, Yeah. She said ten children. Yeah. Uh huh. So you have ten children. Like she asked her multiple times. She asked a couple times, and she was like, Really? Ten? Ten. That's how many you have. And Matilda was like, Yes, I have ten children. Ten. ten. I counted on all my fingers. It's ten of them. After that, they don't count. <laughs> I only have ten fingers. So, so I only have ten, ten children. children. That's what that is. <laughs> so. They go on, they have a conversation with Tilda. Matilda talks about um, how her mama had her young, gave her to her grandmama, and she felt unloved. And basically abandoned. Yeah. It's just the, 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 black, the black folk story. It's so, so many, many of us with that same story. Yes. Like, sometimes <laughs> your mama comes back, sometimes she don't. Sometimes she don't. She lived with her grandmama yeah, for a time. couple of years, and that's my girl. I wasn't going. I, E-Y-E, -E, I wasn't going. You'd be so Me and my grandmama have differences. I love her. You cute. Look. <laughs> All I see is hair sticking up. Thank you, girl. I put my makeup on. I didn't cry. Well, I'm cute. So. I didn't cry too hard in church. She don't want to acknowledge her cuteness. That's fine. But I am yeah. fine. I look good. You look just like me. Oh, so then you fine. Oh, well, there it is. Girl. Anyway, so I like everybody has stayed with their grandmama for <laughs> once or twice. Like, that ain't. That's not uncommon, yeah, but uh, yeah. people take it differently. So she felt abandoned because her mama raised her sister, her little sister. Right, she right. had a baby. Yeah, I don't know how it felt if my mama would have had enough baby. Well, she her. came back and got you, so yeah, she was on her way. She was right. Yeah, she she had to get past her mother's rules. Yeah. She had to find Jesus, and I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, get herself together. Yeah, yeah. And she found Jesus, and, and it be, actually stuck too. I'm gonna find out she what she what Jesus. she trying to take to her grave. Yes. That's what I'm she, she spoke at church this morning. She preached. <laughs> and she said she was out there doing it all. And some she of the did. stuff she's going to take to her she grave. Did it so all. now yeah. my life mission is to find out what yeah. that is. Because the stuff I know is bad enough. Mm -mm. We take a stuff to our grave, I got to get to the Girl, group. Everybody got something they just put down and be down in a, in a drawer and back behind in a box and you seal it. You seal it with, with Gorilla Glue. Cannot relate. You can't let stuff be out. You can't let these things be in the streets. Cannot relate. And tell God, thank you. That's how you end up like Tilda. Uh -huh. See that? But see, but Tilda's problem is. See, she would never say she had nothing that she would hide. Tilda would just say, that's have, not me anymore. I have 10 children. <laughs> but ain't no, I'm telling you, if I, if I pass through my body 12 children, I'm going to have to have, tell y'all I had 12 so, children. I can't pass these kids. I've given back 12 times. 
I'm gonna need everybody to acknowledge me and I'm going to need an award. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is what I need. I need to be on Oprah, like. Because I had. Give me my props. I single-handedly I mean, repopulated the earth. If I had 12 children, oh my God. First of all, I would, oh you, my would, God. you would be in bed. Uh, yeah, because I mean, if I had one more, I think I'd go to You bed. can't take it. <laughs> you, wouldn't, love, you wouldn't cut out for mothering no, long term. No, no, <laughs> no. Anywho. Um, so we said generations here. and generations of mother. No, no, he, my mother. first set is grown, and he is my new set. What the mess? That don't work for me. Either. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some people mean. can do it. There's plenty of folks can do it. It's just not my ministry. It's just not for me. I have a ministry, but that ain't it. Karen Clark has a song that said "Just for me." That's not for me, though. Mm, not for me. Not for me. It ain't for nobody like me. Sing. <laughs> Sing. Not for me. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, in, in in Jennifer Holiday's words. No, 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 no way. Uh, that's, that's the right Jennifer number one. I said Holiday. Yeah, okay, you did say that. I, did. I, I just did. heard Jennifer. Then when you started, I just I said what yeah, I, I said. Didn't, didn't process it to you. That's your <laughs> thing. I said what I said. The throat thing was like. Yeah. Like she, I be wanting to give up. The throat loss and just something. Um, uh, corticosteroid. She, she she was she's a part of the old preaching style. I hated that sound. It's awful. Anyway, she but we love Jennifer. She's well, both of them. She's revered. All of, all of them. <laughs> Speaking of, did you see that video of the baby on the voice? You did. I, did I put on, that on my Facebook? Thirteen. Awesome. And she sang it like she done been through some things. She had vocals and control that children don't have. Children do not. I don't have. I got to pray. Jesus. My mama may have. My daddy may have. But God bless the child, cause I don't have. Jesus, I'm gonna need you to see. Any new kids? I tell you, girl this is what happened when you grow up with Beyonce's uh, fifth album. You you was, I didn't grow up with it. I was already together. When you a child and you grew up with Beyonce's Today Vocals, these kids be coming up with... when they're cold at 13. Kiera she she Today Vocals. That's what I'm saying. These kids growing up with these girls Today Vocals. I had to grow up. Me and Kiera had to do the safest place together. Okay. I didn't grow up I'm with her singing like she sang. The safest place? I'm going to need you to come in next Sunday and back me up. In the whole wide world. Single movie. Is in the wheel of God. No, I wouldn't let you do that because that's just me. That's how she sang. She did. And her mama let her do it and no, not look at her. Mama let her do it. You didn't let me do it and look at me. I let you. I said, no, that look note at the cannot difference. be placed. Look at the difference. That's because you didn't want it. You didn't, look, you, no, you no, didn't, no. You didn't have the No, 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 no. You didn't have the No, 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 no. Her mother allowed her to explore her voice and you did not allow me to explore my voice. And I no, you like, can't explore it over here. Now I don't like to sing. You do. I, I don't care to sing, you know, like that. Look at the difference. Girl, you're saying what I'm telling Look what you've done to me. I can't stop these tears from falling from my I'm going to tell you like Joe Jackson and Maddie Moss Clark told that Jerry. Abusal. You better stand up there and sing. Open, Maddie said, open your big old mouth and sing. Karen does have a large mouth. I don't, I don't know that she meant that, but because she, she told everyone. Because I know she told us the choir to open up our big old mouths and sing. He said, yes, ma'am. Because she was everybody's mama, and you would get a whooping. That, <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a okay. material. Because we done right? yeah, fell out after the curl, the curl, the curl laid down. I got hot at church. I was comfortable, but I was in the night. Girl, um, it was cold up in the front, but at first I got hot. I'll catch you. So Matilda, honey, she she took over the whole episode. So the rest of this conversation going to be about Matilda. All you need to know about Brandy and Ty is they feel bad because they, you know, left their children. I think Ty's baby was one month old. Mm -hmm. She was pregnant when she got sentenced. The judge allowed her to go home for, to you know, have to have the baby. baby. And then she turned herself in at a month, which... I don't know if I can turn myself in. Y'all have to just come pick me up because me going down there just willingly sounds like a lie. Well, y'all come to the house and get me. It was going to be a mess <laughs> if she but, didn't turn herself in. Um, yeah, so they the, the, the two younger girls kind of felt bad because they weren't there for a lot of their children's lives. Sure. And they, um, she understood the Matilda's girls as, as we go in. She, they, it all made sense. But Matilda just couldn't get it. That was, that was the weirdest thing to me. I was like, so you live in the Lala Man. You see a boy? I'm gonna turn it A boy. A boy. B O Y. He and all she was. Why would there be a boy standing in the rain? I mean, it's an over gang over at the gas outside, station. I don't want to see. He it. might want some gas. It's a gas station. I was looking at the uh, the barbershop. It looked like it said image of uh, damages, but it said images. And I'm like, I don't, don't want to go to a barbershop and say damages. Uh, That's not what I want. But anyway, so Brandy and Ty had adopted uh, Tildy in jail. Yeah. That was that's their mama now. Uh -huh. And I really wanted to explore. Um, their actual relationships with their mothers because I call every single living body auntie but I do not call too many people mom because I have one she's right here and though I've raised her <laughs> she is technically my mother honey because um, I got the stitches she did it 
let's go ahead and dispute and dispel this lie. <laughs> no, I, I almost had shit. done had a whole C-section before I was born. I had stitches both times. And then she had a C-section when I was born. Mm -hmm. So there were already scars and I didn't say you created the scar. Yeah, you told me that before. Oh, well, yeah. There you was a scar there that was bigger than the scar that I had to come out of because technology changed very quickly, I might add. Yeah, that was short that, that my birth. But, um, there was a, the, scar, the, the scar was there. She had had stitches already. And since then, two years ago, she had a surgery <laughs> on that very same. She, she just kept the same, they just like the same scar. <laughs> they cut that same scar right on back open and stitched it right on back closed. So I'm tired. <laughs> and I want you to know that. And I want the people to know that. <laughs> I'm just glad they didn't go for different spots. <laughs> I can have stitches everywhere. <laughs> so we gonna, we, boys, we take out from the left. Girls, we take out from the right. Parts, we take out from the middle. I can have like three scars. So Brandy and Taya adopted Tilde, and I was confused about that. Tild Matilda is not a great name, and I wanted I mean, to know- she's 65, it probably was popular. Let me get here. Okay. I wanted to know why on Luke Cage, Mariah named her daughter Matilda. Because I would have figured it to be the other way around. What's your sister? People do that. It's, don't talk about my sister that way. I mean, it's not her fault. It's no one's fault in this room. But I mean, like, after it's been so long, it kind of gets to be, oh, that's kind of cool. It's, mm, you know what you think? I don't like Matilda. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be in your early 30s and I'm walking around calling you Tilly. Well, I mean, I went to school with Tilly. I don't know if that's her name. I don't know what the girl name. I need to ask her daughter. You know her daughter, but you don't know her. I don't know who you're talking about. But anyway. I'll tell you later. Somebody named Tilly, man. Yeah. Um, but Matilda. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. She had adopted these two girls in the jail because they reminded her of her two youngest girls. Mm -hmm. The ones that she did not ask. <laughs> but those, are, those weren't the ones she didn't ask. She claimed. I don't know who she did. Who she did. Probably the, the first two. But then she, she tried to say. And I say tried to say because it just didn't seem quite right that two of them were because of rape i don't see why that didn't seem quite right to you and i'm not gonna explore that with you because because i, I don't know i don't know what you're gonna say and i don't, I don't know coming on my channel talking I don't, crazy you can elaborate on your channel <laughs> no i mean it just seems i don't know i don't know what the birth order was but you had to take care of them but then i don't know i don't know you don't know so i don't, I don't know, know why you're sitting here trying to act like you I just, it seems fishy, girl. Right. I mean, she seems fishy. She seems fishy in general. I'm not, just, I'm not just that. I don't, I, I need more information. And, and you find out and you elaborate on your channel, but don't have the girls coming over here. I just need more information. Yeah. I just, my hair got wet, y'all. Like I don't know, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not. The point. I'm not a doubter that that kind of stuff happens because I know it happens all the time. That's what that sounds like. Oh, no, 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 please, no, that ain't it. That ain't it. Well, I don't know what it is, but again. It's not the, no, 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 I'm not saying that maybe that didn't happen. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that. Well, it's all. unclear what you're saying. So, like, yeah, I keep saying, we yeah. don't eat. Yeah, we're going to let it go, let it go, because I have some thoughts. But then, like I said, I don't have enough information. So, go ahead. In the words of my ancestor, Fantasia. Why is she your ancestor? Y'all about She's ten, older than me. She ain't that many years older than you. She's still older than me. Okay, continue. You would have been mad if I said my elder. No, she older than you. But you would have been, she's not that much older. You would have said the same thing. That's yeah, possible. I forgot what she said now. Moving along. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a good quote. Holly, I'll let you hear. Um, moving. So, we, cause my mama jumped the gun, but I let her have it. I'm trying not to be aggravated with her today. So, before, I mean, no, let's go. Where are you going? I'm taking the long way to everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Did y'all catch that little piece of tool she gave me? I'm hungry. Okay. Um, but yeah, cause we taking forever to get here. Matilda, her daughter came in at the end of the first episode and what's her face? Yama. In Yama. <laughs> Whatever they call them. In Yama. Y'all screw her name up. Ilanya. That's what Ilanya. Y'all yeah, butchered but, that she woman's just, name. They just moved them letters. Just moved them. Everybody butchers her name. They call it all sorts of things on uh, on YouTube too. The YouTubers be like, and I'm here for Inyanla Fix My Life. Like, I'm gonna ask you to learn the girl's name. <laughs> it's, in, it's right there on the, when you click the channel. It's right there. And, and good American spelling. And you know the way grandma goes, if you just read it, you say that, don't it? I don't know, and I don't care. I hear her say it at the beginning of every every episode. But... And then she gave a tutorial the other week. <laughs> I saw it. I was so terrified. Did she did it. Because she knew this episode was coming. Yan La Rhonda. Because <laughs> um, that's her name. But um, 
Oh, one thing that got on my nerves about Ayala was she kept bringing this like jail element because you know she has her antics. She had a police officer come in and, and served them warrants or whatever, and it just that to me is like these women they'd have been traumatized on the right. Bench. Why would you do that? And then she had on the second episode a court session. Like Ayala, <laughs> come on now, come on. I'm trying to ride with you. Everybody out here calling you the devil. I'm trying to work with you. Why they calling her? Well, you know, Tom um, Braxton is out here calling her the devil. Oh, okay. she really don't want to hear the truth. The truth is not on her radar. Right. So anyway, the daughter comes in. And y'all ask her, Elanya, ask her what, what her birth order is, what, what number is she? She said 11. We said, her like, well, that don't go with the 10. That we have like, wait a minute. Before. I don't have no more fingers. Well, I'm out of fingers. I'm out of fingers. So it's just not quite it. Um, And then she says that there are 12 children. And y'all are like, well, that's not it. That's not what Tilly said. She ain't said it. And, uh, and, and. Excuse me, that's, that's what she was saying there. Flew across. Yeah, because I'm taking this polish off. You're giving me a lot. Mm -hmm. The very most. Uh -huh. I didn't go ahead and my eyebrows going to be honest. Yeah. I ain't got no more. And they got my. No, they she did. got my. I did. She got the spot. Long story short, girl, when we get to the root of the thing, because we, we, we going, we been around the world tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um. The root of the thing is Matilda don't talk about two of her kids because she was raped or something and she just decided that she ain't gonna talk about her kids. That don't, that don't sit well with me because the kids didn't do it. And so I just, <laughs> like, I, I'm just not of the of the mindset that you throw out the baby. The baby didn't do that. And, the baby if, didn't and do that. if you can't, couldn't have handled it, she should have let them go for it. Well, we don't know if she did. Yeah. We don't know if she did or not. She said she don't talk about them. I don't know if that means she don't raise, she didn't raise them or what. Because they never did really explain. They never clarified. But the point remains. It, I just did. I, <laughs> just it wasn't it. It wasn't for me. Matilda just ain't for me. She was. She had got mad at Iyanla and said she wasn't gonna talk about it. And it's like why are you here then? This is what I don't understand. Why people keep going on Iyanla, saying they not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm not liking you right now. Why are you here for? Same thing with Thom Braxton, and if you don't uh, pay attention to, to my things. Thom is Tamar. She looks like a Thom. That's just what it is. I'm not involved in that. That's so not involved. You don't have to be. I'm grown. I stand in it by myself. Um, Thom Braxton went on the, on, on Iyala, or not, she didn't go on Iyala, but Iyala came to her and did as Iyala always does. Tried to get to the root of that thing. Y'all can't be out here trying to do better and heal and not get to the root of your things. That's just not how that works. You can't, you can't get better. That's like you have an infection and you just put a band-aid on top to cut. You still got the infection. That's like Usher, you know, <laughs> speaking of infections, Usher putting a band-aid on his penis. He still got the hurt. It's still green. I wasn't ready. You got to prepare your mama when you're doing something. I, you I, 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 I felt a good I felt a good laugh. You should have known where I was going I, I, with Usher. <laughs> Usher. When I said Usher, you should your mind should have already oh, went there. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Or I tell Infection. But anyway, um, the kids told her uh, that she they, they was upset with her for leaving, and uh, she said she's sorry. I forgot to mention she was actually in jail for her. Two of her sons were selling drugs in mm -hmm. some kind of way. She ended up in jail, and that just don't make sense. She to said me. she. I mean, but if you don't tell it, yeah, you can't go to jail. But that's not what she said. Well, she said I wasn't gonna snitch on my phone. Oh, maybe I missed that. But I'm just trying to see as a as a child, I would never ever ever let my mama go to jail. Then we found out that Matilda was in jail for five years before that. And I'm just like, this is just too much. It's far too much. And and I don't care for it. But she just didn't, she didn't disclose anything. It looked like she was really just going on the show to support the other two girls, but she had the most problems. The most. Oh, that thing was, that was pretty bad. So I just can't do it. Because, I mean, seriously, the second show just was pretty it was much just Matilda. Fixed, less, fixed Matilda's life. They took Ty in the room and shook some chains and asked her what she felt, but other than that. And she, she, I mean, but they were ready. The girls, the young girls, they were, they seemed to be ready to move on with their lives, to change That's some because, of the things. And this is no shade, daughter, but the younger generations, and I know y'all love to talk about the millennials and how we ain't doing this and we ain't doing that, but. That's only a uh, 40% of them. But, the, but the, <laughs> the, the younger generations are able to discuss their emotions more freely. We're able to process them better because of the times that we're growing up in. Your generation, your mama's generation, and your mama's mama's name generation. You talking about that? Yeah. Didn't talk about emotions, didn't discuss, did y'all just keep your head down, just keep it forward, and the Lord will provide, and we mm -hmm. just gonna be, a, and, and that's, he yeah, he'll provide, yes, but 
you he can provide somebody who's emotionally dead and a lot of y'all are like Tilly it's no shade it's just I know being a younger person and talking to younger people we talk about mental health every day I talk to somebody about mental health every somebody my age about mental health every single day every day y'all don't talk about that at all we put that look that's we kept Uncle, Uncle Crazy in the back. We made sure he was clean and he was fed. If that. Some folks did. Well, we made sure so that's, Crazy that's was So that's what I saw. I saw Auntie, Auntie Off, whatever the name was. Uncle Crazy and Auntie Off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get away from we me. We kept our people. Go inside. We didn't take them to the place. Go get they was our people. You're wearing me out. We loved them until they left and then we were sad. Because you remember that time when Auntie Off did something? Like, Lord, we didn't know how we was going to get through that. But we made it. Get away from me. You don't know. So what I saw in the episode, what I gathered, was that uh, young people are more emotionally mature than old people, and that is no shade. That's no jive. That's just the way things are today. And it's not for everybody because uh, y'all know my one of my favorite, I, I'm, I'm willing to say my favorite at this point, YouTuber Miss Honey. I love her so much. Just love her. She is literally, like, the one of the most emotionally mature older than me people <laughs> you don't want to call nobody old she not old because she younger than my mama no. and my mama wait i was gonna say and my mama's on the younger side but you can put yourself in the old category i wouldn't even i love come, i wouldn't even finna come for you like that <laughs> anyway stronger i'm feeling um, tonight. <laughs> miss honey is i feel like she's in the the age group of people who like the like my mama them uh, who are just I'm an exer. emotionally <laughs> stunted and she's just so open with her emotions it just makes me so glad it just makes me so glad and she gives me what I cannot always get from my mother why are your hands so red? is that makeup? no it's just it's red. I've got blood in my hands I mean we all have blood in you our don't hands. have nothing <laughs> what's wrong with you? get away you from have, me you have nothing go away from me help you you get some blood in your fingers I'm trying to help you so anyway, in conclusion, that's what I gathered. What did you gather? I gathered that that sister Matilda. <laughs> I'm going back to what we were doing. That's Auntie Off. That's Auntie Off. <laughs> but I, if if she wasn't, take your time. I'm take trying time. to use a good saved I word. I see you. Ain't, see, ain't no, if if she wasn't lying or faking, <laughs> let me go there. Just be just use good regular words. Yeah. Then she might be okay because she began to see. She appeared to begin to see that, like she said at the end, you're not trying to hurt me. No, you nobody trying to hurt you. Nobody's coming for you, me. This is not the show. Iyanla, <laughs> tear your life down. This is not. Iyanla, square up. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> this is not what the show is about. I'd watch it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty fun. I would love it. Because, honey, I think she could take some people. I want to see Nicki Minaj and Cardi B on Iyanla, square up. Oh lord. And she just say now, y'all have to fight within this square. Beloved. Bel there will be no hand pulling, beloved. Hair costs too much. <laughs> As a matter of fact, beloved, take off your wigs. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You just, uh, someone come and braid their hair. Take this makeup off. Why do you come to me when you know you're going to cry? You come to me with these beat faces. And you know, if somebody hits you in the face, it's going to slide off. We need good contact. <laughs> We're not doing Vaseline, beloved. We will take out the earrings because we don't want rip low. No. But. We want you to come out of here better. <laughs> I would gotten watch. gotten this off my, your chest. I would watch. But as I was saying, <laughs> if cool. she wasn't telling no story she could come out better because i mean she's 65 but she's not so old and then she's about to die that she she can't change she can't be better and hopefully for the i hope that the girls her children those two them two last babies that she brought in um i hope they have some closure and they were able to and she said oh lord we got boo -boo well, you have great to he, <laughs> okay. he said no change my mind. <laughs> and, she, and just dragging her down the street that's a puppy dragging his mama down the i road. mean just dragging her <laughs> she got her hands full somebody help her <laughs> Literally this big. Little though. Carry her. Oh, she's not that big. No, no, no. She, she wasn't ready. She'd be done slid down the road. I've been there. <laughs> I'm going to ask yesterday. you to stop. Help us today. If you can keep on your feet, I appreciate it. It's my goal. But uh, yeah, I hope that the, the younger girl, her, those last two babies, um, are able to break that, that pattern. Of, the pathology. Hey, I'm going to stay doing it. I'm telling you. It's the pathology. I feel like get you a big bottle of soap. This is how you raise the pathology. You don't know enough like you like you're getting ready to scrub in for surgery. You get all up here. I admit I need you to do surgery. That's unison. No. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's canceled. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying. We're going to do that second one. I am it, 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 that's what y'all hear the song with you and that's why I thought it was James Ford. That's the in my day. Yeah. I can't remember all the parts. You didn't throw me away. You said in the line. Song, honey. Work and find my good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I forgot that. We need to send that to Matilda. She need to get saved. That's the, the moral of this. If you get saved, turn your life over to the Lord Honey, and change. We had a real good altar call today. Y'all, we, we have them in my it church. Was for the, it was for the young people. You old heads need to be there. <laughs> Don't do me like You and my baby, both of y'all, my other baby, y'all, it wouldn't hurt y'all to go up there and get your down. I should have just went to the back and got put grease on well, all first of all, you didn't know I was back right there. Oh, I felt it in my spirit. That's because I told you I was coming. See? <laughs> you sound like them folks that look at them pictures of uh, Beyonce with um, Latoya and Latavia talking about, I feel a reunion coming. No, you don't, girl. You just saw a picture of them together. That don't mean you feel anything at all. And if you did, it's probably going to be the three. It's I mean, they're probably going to... It ain't going to be the six. They're not going to sing. Latavia is not going to sing, okay? I want y'all to stop Why contacting me about Latavia singing. She's not going to sing. She got PTSD, and that's fine. Okay, I mean, because, yeah, folk got stuff. It'd mean, be nice if she could overcome it. Because the way they do her, things, though. That slows your life down. It keeps you from doing But things. they mistreat her. I watch people on Twitter and Instagram all the time. And they need to be shot in their pinky toe. Like, the way they talk about Michelle, they talk about Latavia, like, five times worse. It's rude. Yeah. Latavia deserves respect. And I'm Everybody going to make a shirt that says, Respect Latavia. Everybody deserves respect. R-E-S-P-I-C-T. Al, stop it. We got to eat. <laughs> we hang it now out. it's gonna be real silly because we home. We're gonna hang up and call your bike. 